Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial how to create infographic or image based bar chart. This is a bar chart which is using the different type of images or icons to create the chart. For example, you may have seen within a newspaper and in a magazine, for example, if they are showing you the sale of Coca Cola or Pepsi, you will be seeing that they are using the Pepsi bottle or the Coca Cola bottle. Uh, to display the the sale over a period of time or across different categories so similar sort of chart we can create with the help of the infographic bar chart over here which i'll show you in a minute and uh, before that just a quick information that this spreadsheet is present in the description and you can access any of the previously created tutorial using by searching it and using the link which is present in front of here so let's go ahead and use this uh, power, power bi infographic or the image based bar chart like i used to call it okay so let me move to the power bi all right here we are within the power bi and i'll just go inside these three dots to get more visuals in the previous video i've explained that uh, by default you won't be able to get it until unless you are signed in with the help of your corporate email id or any custom domain name email id which is other than the general email providers like the gmail hotmail or yahoo right so you need to create an account and then only you can get inside the get more visual so here we have the section power bi certified we need to just go over here and here is the infographic designer so if i just click over here you will see that it is an infographic designer it is by microsoft corporation so that means it is safe also it has the blue tick mark which means the visual is certified by power bi to use it from the performance and uh, stability perspective all right so now you can click on the ad once you click on the ad it will take like a couple of seconds and we have this infographic designer chart over here so what do we need is click over here and if you see uh, the infographic designer object is present here and now from here we can basically take category legend measure column by and row by and let's start taking the category first and the category let's say we take the customer segment all right let me try again and put it properly and uh, for measure let me take the sales this is like the minimum what i need okay and now if i come over here this is a simple bar chart so nothing interesting over here but if i click on the pencil icon over here you will see that we have the shape one and in the format section we have like a couple of options going to basic and if i change this to something like this oval sort of a shape or circle sort of a shape or maybe if it is something like mobile sales let's say for example so if i just click on the mobile that will show that in various categories how the mobile sales is happening in the corporate customer segment home office consumer and small supplies so this basically makes the visualization more interactive and more uh, easily consumable by the end user then you have like multiple units which you want uh, to increase and right now the unit is one let's say we take five so for each row and each column we have five we have the option here amount and column and row and column which we can configure and down there you will see some more changes like the value color if you want to change the value color to to anyone which what we like uh, we have the unit background we want to keep the ratio this is again you know for to make it more and more customized make it a compact unit so play around you can play around with this but uh, but this is the main or basic setting you need to do to make sure like for example for direction left to right right to left top to bottom we can experiment with this and see what is making sense for us but this is sort of a main settings which i wanted to show you uh, based on the shape that you have you can choose the uh, the information from here like food and drink household nature so already a lot of shapes but uh, down there you have the uploaded option let's say for example you want to do it for your organization 
as the icon you want to upload so you can click on upload and uh, based on where your information is like from pictures over here wherever it is present you can just pull it information and uh, put it out there and you will be able to select it from the uploaded section so that's about uh, that's about it but you have like couple of more options as to the main shape or any insert shape that you want to have it from here i would just not recommend that however once you get more used to of it then you play around because you have shape here and you have shape here as well so and what what happens is it creates multiple shapes here once you start experimenting it and it confuses you so if you are just starting i would stick i would like you to stick to basics keep the base shape shape one over here and select what shape you want for this shape one and uh, down you have like insert image option you have insert text option you have arrange element and you have delete element option just so that you are uh, doing the right setting and settings is already present here so that's about uh, how you can do this but you have like couple of more options for example if you want to have a color as part of the legend so maybe i can take the customer segment again over here and uh, you will see that nothing much is changing however the legend color is so it's not making an impact so no point in doing this but uh, we have options of doing it the column by and row by as well so what it does is based on the field we are putting in column or row it creates the categorization or it divides the entire visualization so for example if i bring the region over here in column by you will see that uh, each visualization is divided into column by which is sort of a trellis option a trellis option is something where you divide each chart into multiple rows and multiple columns so here this is column by but if i bring it here in the row by you will see it like this which is also another interesting way of looking at it to to the entire visualization if i put it in a focus mode you will see that for each category for each particular region how the sales really looks like so that this make this makes uh, interactivity a lot using this infographic one can clearly understand where the sales are high where the sales are low because all these values of these mobiles are relative so if you are having a mobile based company that's probably a visualization which will going to help you a lot also you can format if these lines bothers you a lot you can you can basically change this with the uh, settings over here so for example in the small multiple since it is a small multiple what you have is something down there is a show separation so we have this separation i think it just bothers end users eye it becomes this is far more relevant if you see so you have these uh, the separation is gone and you can easily see the information so as you will explore more you will find the title but i wanted to show you as to how you will going to uh, use this or enable this and what is the functionality that you can get so for example if you want to disable x axis or if you want to disable y axis so all these lines are now gone right so that's that's all about how you want to how you may want to experiment what makes sense what does not make sense and uh, yeah it will give you the output as as you would require so that's about it and i'll now meet you in the new topic with a new video